So, okay, with that, now let's begin. Uh, so, today we're going to be exploring uh, some of our latest and upcoming GWM solutions. Uh, lately at GrandStream, we've, we've definitely released a lot of access points. We also really recently released the routers as well. Um, our Wi-Fi 6 line has been expanding. So we definitely wanted to take a moment to kind of step back and look at some of the latest things that we have released and also some really new uh, and fun additions that are coming to our networking line. So our agenda today, uh, we're going to be talking about several products here specifically. Uh, first, we're going to be doing a GWN series overview, just a few quick slides for those who may not be too familiar with our GWN networking line, just to kind of bring you up to speed. Then we're going to be covering our GWN 7624 in-wall access point, some pretty exciting and uh, diverse deployment scenarios with that one. Uh, the GWN 7625 hybrid access point. Our GWN Wi-Fi 6 access points, just going to take a quick look into those Wi-Fi 6 access points, talk about some of the benefits that they offer, and then talk about the GWN 7664 Wi-Fi 6 long-range access point, our, our latest addition to our Wi-Fi 6 line. And of course, we'll be talking about our GWN Wi-Fi routers. And to wrap it up, we'll be giving you guys a little bit of a sneak peek into our upcoming GWN switches. Uh, that's right, something you all have been asking for for a while. Uh, Grandstream, you know, we finally are developing uh, and sort of expanding out our networking line with the addition of switches, uh, but more on that a little bit later in the presentation. So for those who may be somewhat new uh, to Grandstream, or maybe you haven't really explored our networking solutions uh, very much, um, you know, our GWN series definitely is one of our fastest growing product lines, uh, you know, in both when it comes to just sales and also uh, in what we are offering to installers, distributors, resellers, and end users. Uh, the line is growing a lot, but Importantly, it allows you to build powerful and secure networks with industry leading setup, performance, and management. Uh, so we have a full portfolios of access points that are only growing, uh, routers, and also three free management options that are pretty unique to the GWN series that makes managing all of these access points, routers, et cetera, a lot easier for the installer, for the end user, uh, for those IT teams. But it has approximately 20 more new products coming by the end of 2023. A big chunk of those being the switches, which we will be talking about towards the end of this presentation. So when it comes to our solution, so, um, you know, you have a few major competitive benefits here. Um, the first one being three free management options with GWN Cloud, GWN Manager, and the built-in controller within all access points. Easy installation, you can just scan a barcode with the GWN.cloud app, have it added to your site, add it to your installation site within any of these management options, easily configure the network and access point. And of course we have a full portfolio of indoor, outdoor, long range, in wall and Wi-Fi access points as well as routers. And of course, because of this, all this sort of real-time monitoring, alerts, reports, troubleshooting are all available to you completely for free on all access points, routers, uh, and management options. But these sort of features are what sort of takes Grandstream access points and Grandstream Wi-Fi solutions and networking solutions and sort of sets them apart from the competition. Of course, it's just worth saying too, just to make sure that, you know, you can have confidence in your deployments and your Wi-Fi deployments. Uh, Grandstream is a member of the Wi-Fi Alliance, uh, which is a worldwide network of companies that sort of work to bring you Wi-Fi, uh, but also, which is of course, one of the world's most valued communication technologies. But it drives global Wi-Fi adoption evolution through thought leadership, spectrum advocacy, and industry-wide collaboration. Our access points are certified by them. 
So talking about the GWN series here, a grand stream Wi-Fi access points and offer a high network performance, industry leading coverage ranges, fast provisioning, and multiple management options. Uh, so we have a large range of indoor access points, uh, starting with the GWN 7602, all the way up to the GWN 7664 Wi-Fi 6 certified access points. But we'll be talking about the GWN 7624 and the GWN 7625 in a moment here. And our long range uh, in outdoor access points, everything from the GWN 7605LR up to the, our recently released GWN 7664LR. But on to what we're going to be talking a little bit more about today. Um, some of our newer releases uh, that are pretty exciting additions to the portfolio, um, starting with the GWN7664. Uh, so this device is one of our most recent access points. It's actually an in-wall Wi-Fi access points, the second of in-wall access points to be added to our portfolio. Uh, on the 5G band, we have 4x4 Moomimo technology, and on the 2.4G band, we have 2 point, excuse me, 2x2 two two Moomimo. Uh, so definitely, this is a device where if you're focusing on an in-wall installation, uh, that is focusing on that higher frequency 5G band, um, definitely a great choice. It has a total of just a little bit more than two gigabit per second aggregate wireless throughput, and also four gigabit wireless ports, which I'll touch on in a little bit more in a moment here. But it has support for up to 200 concurrent Wi-Fi client devices. So if this is something that you're deploying into a smaller office, uh, definitely an ideal solution here. And of course, like all of our access points, it has anti-hacking secure boot and critical data control lockdown uh, via digital uh, signatures. So like I was mentioning, it has those three by three, 10, 100, and 1,000 uh, megabit ethernet ports, two of which have PSE capabilities. Uh, so definitely where this device really shines is within hotel deployments uh, and deployments such as in classrooms, uh, where you definitely want to be able to utilize this device for switching and PSC capabilities, to provide power to a few additional devices, whether it be, for example, Grandstream speaker and intercoms, uh, or IP phones, or provide a connection to computers, while still having the benefits as well for Wi-Fi clients. So talking about some of the deployment scenarios here for this device, uh, just to expand on it just a little bit more, offices, hotels, uh, in education. So for example, in offices and executive suites, uh, they can really utilize the GWN 7664 to create a mobile working environment for employees. So with the in-wall uh, excuse me, design and PSC ethernet ports, the access point is an ideal choice. So basically the access point can be deployed to actually help support all the Wi-Fi bringing devices, whether it's smart devices, laptops, computers, et cetera, and then have those ethernet ports to provide both power and connectivity uh, to, for example, printers, video conferencing devices, smart TVs, et cetera. Uh, within hotels, this device can be deployed throughout hotel rooms. Uh, that can really lean on the GWN 7634's capabilities uh, for an affordable in-wall access point. So it can provide power to uh, all of those either VoIP phones, smart TVs within a hotel room, computers, and other IoT devices that may be there, while also having a strong and stable Wi-Fi connection, uh, which is definitely something that's very important for guests in those kind of deployments. And last but not least, in education type deployments, especially ones where classrooms leverage either sort of laptop access or smart devices to aid in education. This is good for both higher and lower education environments. The 7624 can help staff and students with a Wi Fi connection. And then within the actual classroom itself, it can provide a connection to phones, intercoms, printers, and other sort of devices uh, that staff may utilize more primarily. All right, talking about one of our other recently released access points, the GWN 7625. Uh, so this is a hybrid access point in which 
you know, it provides 4 by 4 Mumimo technology on the 5G band, but the 2.4G band, kind of like the 7624, is 2x2 two two Mumimo. Uh, so this device also has a 2.03 gigabit per second aggregate wireless throughput, only two gigabit wireline ports, much like the rest of our access points, anti-hacking, secure boot, and critical data control. This device is a lot like our other access points. It doesn't have too much of a very unique deployment like the 7624. Uh, however, the GWN7625 here really shines with deployments that really need to focus on fast connectivity on the 5G band. Uh, and because of that, with the hybrid technology, it offers a little bit more of an affordable deployment. Uh, so you still will find quick connectivity speeds on the, the 2.4G band. Uh, however, because of just the 2x2 Mumimo technology on that band, uh, you may see just slightly slower connection speeds throughout it. Uh, but with the 4x4 Mumimo technology on the 5G band, you'll see a lot faster connectivity speeds. So in deployments where you may have less devices in a sort of clumped together area that really need to rely on faster and quick connection speeds, the GWN7625 is a really great deployment option for that simply because of its affordability. So if you ever have any kind of bids that focus on affordability uh, while still maintaining high connectivity speeds, the most bang for your buck possible, uh, the GWN7625 is a great deployment option for that. All right, so moving on to talk a little bit about our Wi-Fi 6 access points. Um, so all of our Wi-Fi 6 access points are Wi-Fi certified. Uh, they've undergone rigorous testing um, and this is what allows us to use the Wi-Fi certified logo on these devices. Uh, Wi-Fi 6, of course, is some of the latest technology that has come to uh, Wi-Fi access points and Wi-Fi solutions. Um, but you may be asking yourself, why should I use Wi-Fi 6 access points over GrantSuite's other access points, which are Wi-Fi uh, 5? Um, Basically, when it comes down to it, Wi-Fi 6 is just a global improvement uh, that users will experience in increasingly common situations where many devices are connected to the same network. Uh, you also see an improvement in lower latency and security within the devices. But Wi-Fi 6 technology really does shine when it comes to high use uh, deployment scenarios. This is mainly due to a few features, one of the first ones being OFMDA technology. Uh, so this enables the access point to connect with many devices at much, and it partitions each radio channel into smaller resource units that can strategically allocate across clients. Uh, in layman's term, basically, when you have an incredibly dense Wi-Fi deployment, uh, the access point can better read, uh, excuse me, can better allocate the packets of wireless information that it is transmitting to allow for a quicker handoff of information in a more efficient Wi-Fi environment. So in contrast to this, a legacy access point will communicate only with one user per channel at a time. It has to sort of like, quote unquote, hold the line open until the transmission concludes. So looking at this in a little bit more of a visual way, our OFMDA technology, looking at uh, sort of Wi-Fi 5, you can see sort of the way that the frequency in the, uh, excuse me, the WLAN packets would be used. So it is sort of dependent on the actual use and that line being held open. It's sort of like if you have a truck that's transmitting goods, only one type of goods can actually be transmitted at a time, which is very inefficient. With Wi-Fi 6, however, and because of OFMDA uh, technology, this information and data transfer can be packaged together uh, into resource units and then sent, uh, which is far more efficient. Another good technology here across our GWN Wi-Fi 6 access points that is available as well to installers and end users alike is the improved Moom email technology. This was actually introduced in Wi-Fi 5 and was improved on uh, in Wi-Fi 6. So Mumimo allows multiple Wi-Fi devices to simultaneously receive multiple data streams. 
Uh, so it's a little bit different from OFMDA, however. Uh, whereas OFMDA uh, allows, uh, you know, excuse me, they both allow multiple devices to simultaneously transmit. It's a bit different. OFMDA can help in high density environments while Mumimo can aid in high throughput applications. So since they're a little bit different, the good thing about these two features is that they allow the access points to be a bit more customized based on the needs of the deployment. And last but not least, a, another important feature, just a note for our Wi-Fi 6 access points within the GWN series is the BSS coloring, uh, which allows for a smoother and easier handoff between access points. Uh, so for users that are moving throughout a deployment scenario where there are many access points that uh, could cause for an, sort of a bad handoff between the actual uh, client device, uh, because of BSS coloring, this helps reduce channel overlap problems that may be experienced on a client device to ensure a smooth connection uh, while roaming. Uh, this is definitely important as well while actively speaking, for example, using Wi-Fi voice with our WP cordless IP phone. Right, so within our Wi-Fi 6 portfolio, uh, we have several products, but just kind of to mention the recently released one here is the GWN 7664LR. Uh, it's our four by four Mumimo outdoor access point. So this is our most powerful Wi-Fi access point um, that can be deployed within an outdoor setting. Uh, it has a staggering 3.55 gigabit per second aggregate wireless throughput. And because of the Wi-Fi 6 technology, uh, this device is an ideal choice when it comes to incredibly dense deployments uh, that you need long range access to or uh, and I should say that are outdoor. It has the two gigabit ethernet ports and of course like I mentioned with the Wi-Fi 6 technology it has that OFMDA and MUMIMO features but it has a staggering coverage range of up to 300 meters and it has advanced QoS quality of service to ensure real-time performance of low latency applications. Our Wi-Fi access points because of these QoS features can more efficiently choose and allocate Wi-Fi signal strength dependent on the application use. So it also has the flexibility of four detachable and changeable antennas for different application scenarios. Uh, so different antennas can be connected to this device as well to help customize your deployments. And of course, it has the embedded controller that can manage up to 50 local GWN series access points. And then you have, like I mentioned earlier, GWN Cloud and GWN Manager. For when it comes to dense outdoor deployments, so for thinking about outdoor stadiums or uh, possibly high, high, high uh, use areas such as outdoor college campuses, or logistic deployments such as warehouses, uh, it's definitely a superior choice. All right, so the, our last thing just to kind of talk about our Wi-Fi access points I want to mention here is the management options. Keep in mind we do have all these management options. Three major ones are embedded option, GWN Cloud, which is our cloud-based platform, and GWN Manager, which is a free downloadable software on a local server deployment. Uh, and these management options are constantly growing and evolving uh, in different features and value added features that they have. And what's good to mention too is that they are all free. Uh, so, you know, if you are deploying GWN solutions and you don't have GWN.cloud, uh, seriously, I strongly suggest going to GWN.cloud, um, which will take you to that platform on any web browser uh, and create an account because it, it, it really offers a lot of capabilities in power. Okay, so to move on from our GWN Wi-Fi access points, heading to our next major category that was really recently added actually is our GWN 7062 and GWN 7052 routers. Um, the GWN 7062 um, being Wi-Fi 6 and GWN 7052 uh, being Wi-Fi 5. 
So our deployments for these, devi uh, these devices uh, kind of focus a little bit more on the smaller end of things. Um, these devices are primarily focused for small offices or satellite offices, uh, home offices as well, and service providers. Uh, these devices can definitely be mass deployed by service providers as well for residential or business applications. So looking a quick look across the devices themselves, so you can have up to 100 or 256, <coughs> excuse me, concurrent clients with both a Wi-Fi 5 and a Wi-Fi 6 option with up to 1.77 gigabit per second speeds. Both the devices have dual band 2x2 two two MIMO and cloud provisioning and management with GWN Cloud, which is a feature that is coming soon with the next uh, release for this device. And of course, these devices too, which is what makes them impressive, support VPN, mesh networks, firewall features, and more um, that you would expect for high grade business or home routers, which I'll talk about a little bit more in detail. So looking at our GWN7062 first, our Wi-Fi 6 dual band home router. So this is ideal for small businesses, home office and service providers, like I said. Uh, this is a little bit of the higher performance model, uh, offers a little bit more uh, capabilities with up to 256 concurrent devices. It's powered by Wi-Fi 6, so like I said, it has that OFMDA and MooMimo technology with up to 1.77 gigabit per second speeds. So this is definitely a very powerful uh, Wi-Fi router to have in either a satellite office or a home environment. It has the dual band 2x2 two two MooMimo. So the important thing to mention uh, for this is what makes this such a great choice for small offices or satellite offices within a corporate network, looking at those kind of deployments, is the built-in VPN support. So where you have multiple offices that are geographically separated, you can have our GWN7062 or GWN7052 routers deployed to connect back to a home and central office. Uh, so if there's any sort of local server access, whether it's for files or, or IoT technologies uh, located on that central sort of corporate server, uh, utilizing the VPN access allows the satellite offices or even a home office to connect back to that corporate network and have access uh, to either the, the local server files, IoT technology, et cetera. Uh, and this basically creates a much smoother deployment and not having to deal with any sort of like software configured um, on a local server VPNs. It's built right into the, to the routers themselves. Uh, another good value added feature here as well in larger sort of deployments, focusing on smaller offices, satellite offices, is the support for mesh networking with GWN series access points. Uh, and then it's just worth mentioning cloud provisioning and management with GWN Cloud on this device is coming soon. But it does have all those powerful security features that you would want within a router, including guest networks, network blacklists, secure boot and critical data control and lockdown, firewall features, et cetera. You can be sure that any network deployments relying on a Wi-Fi 6 dual band router uh, will be safe and secure. And just take a quick look at the actual port and setup here. I'll just leave this up for a moment. I'm not gonna go through it all. Uh, but please feel free to take a quick look at it. All right, sorry, I'll just take a quick drink of water. <clears throat> all right, so moving on to our GWN52 and upcoming GWN7052F dual bound router GWN7052 being released currently and then we have a higher uh, performance model coming a little bit later this Q4. So the GWN7052, uh, so this is a sort of lower capability model when compared to the GWN7062. Uh, this device is Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi certified but it supports up to 100 concurrent clients uh, it's powered by the Wi-Fi 5 standard with up to 1.27 gigabit per second speeds. 
Uh, so it definitely still is a high performance device if you're relying on those Wi-Fi speeds. Uh, it has dual, the dual band 2x2 two two Mumimo, four external antennas, two per band, uh, that can be customized to sort of manipulate the actual Wi-Fi signal. And very importantly as well, just like our other routers, has that built-in VPN for easy access to corporate networks from either satellite offices or home offices, support for mesh networking with GWN series access points, Cloud provisioning is coming soon, and those powerful security features as well. So this is a better model if you're choosing this uh, for a little bit of a smaller deployment. This is probably the better choice uh, for, excuse me, <clears throat> this is probably the better choice when it comes to home office networks. So the GWN 7052F is coming soon, which is a sort of different version of the GWN 52. Uh, it's a little bit more elevated in the capabilities. So whereas the GWN 52 has one WAN port and four LAN ports, the GWN 7052 has an SFB WAN, the three LAN ports, and actually one WAN slash LAN configurable port to allow for a little bit more capabilities and flexibility within the deployment. You have 256 megabit of RAM for a little bit higher and quicker performance speeds with 60K NAT sessions within the 52F. And the embedded controller within the 52F can also manage up to 50 GWN uh, access points because of its uh, higher amount of RAM, whereas the 52 is just the 30 GWN. Wi-Fi access points if you're utilizing the, if you're utilizing the, uh, excuse me, built-in controller. And just taking a quick look at the Mac of the GWN7052. Uh, just looking at the chat real quick, I see some questions about the USB for the 7062. I think it is primarily actually for uh, kind of firmware updates if you choose to do it uh, through that way. Um, but I'll definitely take a look and see what some of the other application uses of the USB port is. Okay, and last but not least, just some of the management options. Like I said, GWN Cloud is coming soon um, on the next firmware uh, release for these devices, but the uh, embedded controller can fully be accessed for free uh, on these devices, uh, along with that kind of mesh support with the routers themselves as well. Okay, just to kind of sort of focus a little bit more on it, uh, the 7052 and the 7062, uh, just really want to hammer the point home here. The built-in VPN with these devices really do allow for the easy access to corporate and private networks for remote employees. We're also looking at, for example, retail chains as well, franchises, et cetera. Um, this is also a great choice for sort of smaller commercial businesses that want to utilize this device or a router in an office while still providing a Wi-Fi connection uh, for any uh, for any guests that are visiting the network. Looking at our client protocols for that VPN, though, we do have LT, L2TP, PPTP, IPSEC, and OpenVPN support when it comes to that VPN capabilities. Looking at our server protocols for the device, we have IPSec and OpenVPN. The mesh networking within the routers as well. So these devices do support mesh networking with Grandstream series access points, which provides an easy network expansion. And this is a great solution for service providers as well that are looking to not only have the router deployed, but also additional access points within a network too. And last but not least, security protection and encryption, anti-hacking, secure boot, the critical data, unique security. Um, not going to go through all of them here, but definitely, you know, security when it comes to any Wi-Fi deploy, excuse me, when it comes to any network deployment uh, is a top concern. Uh, it's something we take very seriously here at Grandstream. So you can always make note that 
the security features that we support are consistently updated uh, and top of line to keep any network that you are deploying these devices into safe. So looking at some of the deployment scenarios for the routers, like I said, small offices, home offices, and service providers. Within small offices or sort of these smaller commercial deployments, the concurrent client and speeds offered by the GWN 7052 and the 7062 uh, really can help support that small office or satellite office productivity, as well as any sort of connectivity that you have within a commercial space for a public Wi-Fi network. Uh, the built-in VPN, though, more importantly, allows for remote access um, to sort of these central corporate networks, especially for either franchises or satellite offices. And of course, the mesh networking for solutions and deployments that require a little bit bigger of a space uh, is ideal in offices. Within a home office, the 7052, or if you need the higher speed, the 7062 uh, is a great choice for remote workers or these uh, really small home offices. There's a lot of reasons for this, really, just the price point, VPN support, cloud provisioning and management that's coming soon, our high-end security features, mesh, and more, uh, really makes this a great choice for any sort of local home office deployment. I'm um, actually working remotely, hey, I will say right now, uh, looking to get one myself, get one all set up, uh, but it is a great choice for that. And when it comes to our service providers as well, the cloud provisioning management that's coming soon with the device, mesh networking, high-end security features, and of course the attractive price point as well, plain and simple, uh, is it makes the GWN7052 and the GWN7062 great and competitive choices uh, and definitely a uh, sincere bid winner uh, for these kind of deployments. Of course, the routers can be integrated with other GrantStream solutions, our series access points with the mesh networking, other GWN series routers to sort of create a central and connected network, many different locations, uh, unified communications deployments can be connected through this device as well and are Wi-Fi capable endpoints. Really helps bring everything together under one brand and one connection. Okay, and last but not least, uh, I know we're a little bit over time here, uh, but just want to talk about our upcoming GWN solutions here. Um, main one just being that we're focusing on within this presentation is our enterprise layer two plus managed networking switch. So I will just want to say real quick, these devices, uh, the normal disclaimer that I give, uh, if you've joined me in the past, uh, these are in progress and in the works. So model may change, features may change, uh, and some capabilities may be tweaked and adjusted um, throughout the uh, uh, development of these devices, so just know. Uh, these, you know, this is not final quite yet. Um, so with that disclaimer though, uh, the GWN 78,000 series, uh, excuse me, 7,800 series are layer two plus managed network switches. Uh, so really allows small to medium enterprises, the small businesses, the big businesses, build scalable, secure, high performance and smart business networks uh, that are fully manageable as well, especially because these devices will be manageable uh, via via, excuse me, GWN Cloud and GWN Manager. But it does support advanced VLAN for flexible and sophisticated traffic segmentation, advanced QoS for automated detection prioritization of latency sensitive voice and video traffic, IGMP snooping, and comprehensive security capabilities against any kind of potential deployments with this. So looking at the layer two managed network switches that are coming soon here, we do have support up to eight, 16 and 24 gigabit ethernet port models uh, with smart power control to support dynamic PoE and PoE power plus allocated uh, models. So we are gonna have both PoE capable models and models without PoE capabilities with advanced security features that you really want with these switches. Um, 
So that includes uh, for the binding of IPs, MAC, VLAN ports, ARP inspection, IP source guard, uh, DOS protection, port security, DHCP snooping, all of these sort of switch capabilities and switch security for any business network that you need, uh, definitely available here to keep everything secure. Advanced QoS features as well within our GWN uh, switches too will allow for real-time prioritization of latency sensitive audio, video, RTP, VoIP, and SIP packets. Uh, so you'll be able to make sure that any kind of deployment that's sort of relying on this switch, um, you'll have good connectivity speeds across all the devices that are connected to it. And we will also have a wide range of models within these devices uh, for various deployment applications. So looking at some of the sort of features here, focusing on the fact that these are powerful business processing uh, switches and have powerful business processing capabilities. Um, the unicast routing via ACL is definitely a key feature to look at with these devices. Uh, allows for more efficient, reliable connectivity uh, when it comes to our GWN switches that are coming. Uh, the generic VLAN registration protocol, also known as GVRP, uh, allows for VLAN dynamic distribution, but basically this helps reduce the amount of manual configuration that you need on the installer side and ensures a correct configura configuration of any sort of VLAN uh, setups when utilizing this device. It has those QoS features, like I mentioned, including port priority, priority mapping, queue scheduling, rate limits, and more. All this can be customized by the installer or IT team just to make sure that any deployment with a GWN switch can be completely customized and tailored. It also has what you would expect, the access control list, uh, so ACL settings, that helps recognize and filter data packets through configuration rules, process operations, time scheduling, and more. All these devices can be highly tuned to any sort of business need. Uh, PoE capabilities on the supported model. Like I said, we're going to have PoE capabilities with this. Uh, so power over Ethernet PoE delivered with the 802.3 AF and AT standards. But this really allows GWN switches to power IP phones, access points, and more. Um, any sort of devices that need that PoE or PoE plus uh, power can be relied upon with the switch. Uh, configure possible, excuse me, the configuration is possible for user-defined time periods as well to help control the power supply of the PoE ports, especially in deployments that are more energy focused and energy conscious. And there's even priority settings for PO, PoE ports to allow for port priorities for limited power fail safe scenarios. I know that's a lot, but basically what this is, is that in the event that there's any kind of power reduction, uh, you can set priorities for these ports to make sure must have devices are still up and being powered and running, uh, which is a good fail safe capability of these devices. And of course, the easy management and maintenance, which is a huge selling port for pretty much all Grandstream networking devices. Uh, configuration management and troubleshooting through GWN Cloud, GWN Manager, and GWN Series Routers really allows for these devices to be streamlined in their actual deployment. As long as you're relying on one complete solution and one Grandstream brand, all of your devices can be deployed through GWN Cloud or through G GWN Manage manager, troubleshoot, et cetera, uh, which really helps you as the installer. Uh, the switches can also be managed and configured via the web GUI, the CLI, either using console or telnet, and SNMP. And when it comes to these devices as well, uh, so you have advanced traffic st statistics and network, at, uh, net, ooh, excuse me, uh, you have traffic statistics and advanced network optimization features with either RMON and syslog, which really helps you make sure that the device is performing uh, as much as possible at its highest level. 
And last but not least, LLDP and LLDP MED features. Uh, this provides for automatic discovery and provisioning of endpoint devices for so within our unified communication devices with grand stream IP phones, endpoints, et cetera. Uh, this really empowers for a much quicker deployment and installation process, makes things much quicker and way less of a headache when utilizing our switches. Okay, everyone. Uh, so thank you so much. That is everything for today. I know I went a little bit over here uh, with our presentation, but that's okay. Um, if you want to pop out now, no worries whatsoever, but I'm going to go ahead and go through the uh, the question, the Q&A section. Uh, the switches should be coming soon, by the way. Uh, not too sure I got the okay to say any firm dates on that. So I'll just say, uh, you know, you can look for those coming in either uh, Q4 or Q1 next year. So just keep a lookout. Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna go through these uh, Q and A questions real quick. Um, so what models uh, support PSE? I'm assuming this is with switches. Um, within the switch line, uh, basically we will have, uh, real quick, uh, eight, 16, and 24 ports um, on the device. Uh, basically, if you want the PoE models, it'll be the model that has a P at the end of it. So for example, in our example image here, the GWN uh, 7801P, will have the actual PoE capabilities. Okay, uh, so. Uh, do I know if GWN Manager would run something like Sysnology NAS Drive Array? Uh, you know, I'm not too sure when it comes to that. Uh, I would recommend though, if you go to our doc center, you should be able to uh, pull up the GWN Manager user manual. Uh, so you can find that by going to grandstream.com. Uh, then under the support tab, there is the doc documentation center. Uh, just go there, it's pretty easy, it's very easy to navigate and find the user manual for GWN Manager. You'll have all the sort of capability details available there. Uh, the GWN7062 does support PoE and PoE Plus, uh, and whether or not it'd be a suitable replacement for the GWN7000, that's that's a little bit more up to you in your deployment uh, usage, but you know it definitely could be utilized for that. Uh, GDMS is not going away, Grandstream Device Management um, System. Uh, that is just our other cloud that focuses a little bit more on all of our sort of unified communication devices. Um, that's just separate from GWN Cloud. Uh, they're just two kind of separate entities, basically. GWN Cloud just focuses on our networking side. GDMS supports on supports all of our UC devices, IP phones, endpoints, et cetera. It's also where you can ask, access UCM Remote Connect. Uh, what access models support PSC? It's just our in-wall devices. Um, so that would just be our recently released, let's go back to it here real quick. <clears throat> That'll be our recently released GWN7624, like we were talking about, and the GWN7062 has PSE capabilities. This is also an in-wall access point here. Uh, will the switches offer uh, 802.3BT 100 watt PoE standard? Uh, unfortunately, I'm not too sure on that. I don't have access to that information quite yet. I can look into that though um, and let you know via the follow-up email I will send. Um, currently from what that the switches act uh, support, where is it, uh, is the AF and AT standards.
uh, but I'll look into that for a little bit more details. Uh, for gateway mode, extended Ethernet access to a location, um, I, I don't believe our access points offer that, unfortunately. I uh, can definitely look into it, though, and offer a little bit more clarity afterwards as well. Okay, well, guys, uh, I am going to call the presentation there. Uh, we're definitely getting, I'm getting a little bit tight for time here. Um, when it comes to any questions that I did not answer that may have been asked in the port, um, like for whoever is representing Dre Tech there, I know I didn't get to that question yet. I'll definitely answer that in the follow-up email. So just check the Q&A section that I'll be sending out an email for uh, most likely tomorrow or the day after. Um, but like I said, presentation will be sent out. We'll have a recording up on YouTube as well, most likely tomorrow or the day after. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, otherwise, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm always available. Um, and, you know, anyone watching via Facebook or YouTube, uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comments section. We'll get someone back to you. But otherwise, everyone, please have a great rest of your week uh, and have a great rest of your day too. Take care.